this is not on my actual day, but I figured I want to post something and I can do it today because I got the day off work. I'm so sorry I've been so crap at uploading the last two weeks since I've been back. I have no excuse except the fact that I'm lazy and just don't know what to tell you about VidCon. Yes, I had a great time meeting Katya and I wish all of you could have been there, but you know, these things happen. It was a great meeting Nikki as well, and of course John. Um, I'm so jealous, I wish I was still there. It feels so long ago since I've been there and it's only been, well not even two weeks, like a week and a half. And it was the shortest three weeks ever. A lot of stuff that I want to tell you about my trip, I just mainly want to talk about VidCon and what it's like meeting actual YouTubers in person. It is so nerve-wracking waiting to meet these people that you've watched for so long. I was literally shaking, like my hand came out shaking after I spoke to Christina Horner. I think I told you in one of my videos previously that I planned to go up to her and say hi, I'm your twin, because I've been told that I do kind of look like her. This is, this over here is a photo that I took with her. Um, so you can sort of see the resemblance going on there. And funny story, after I met her, me, Kat, John and Nikki all went to the movies. And as the movie was sort of starting, I decided I needed to go to the toilet. So I left my seat and walked across the front of the cinema. And John just goes, oh, look, it's Christina Horner. And Nikki and Kat just go, John, that's Lauren. <laughs> and he... It's like, oh my god, I totally get the resemblance now. So, yes. So it was very awkward meeting her because I was sort of like, said my one line and then she was just like, why? <laughs> and I just explained that I also get told that I look like the girl that plays the mermaid in Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, and that was pretty much the extent of our conversation. When I met the other four, I met them all one after each other because they were doing the same meetup. So the first one I met was Joey Graceffa and I had no idea what to really say to him. All I knew is that I wanted him to sign my Mickey ears, which I bought at Disneyland. So I don't know if you can see that. So where are we? Wait, there we go, Joey Graceffa. Um, really cute. So I knew I wanted him to sign that, so I bought them. That's so expensive. It says $16.95. And then they put tax on that, so they're probably almost twenty dollars. So I got them to sign that, and the first thing that came out of my mouth when I met him was "Hello, grandfather," because he does that grandfather voice thing. And then we took an awkward photo together, which is here. Um, and then from there, I went and met Luke Connard, and I knew I wanted to ask him how he came up with the name for his house, Echo Base. Which apparently he put in another video, which I obviously hadn't seen. So I got this big spiel about Star Wars. So I, I felt a little bit better, still a bit shaky. And then I went and met Strawberry 17, me again, and I had this really fast talking conversation. And she basically was like, Are you Australian? English? Um, luckily, she said Australian first. So I, I, I guess I said, I'm, I'm Australian. And then we went on this rant about having fun with accents because I'm saying I was saying two Danish people and American. So yes, the photo. And then I went and met Miss Glamorazzi and that conversation was so natural. She's so lovely. She was taking a photo with another girl just before me. And she was saying how she doesn't have her ears pierced. And I said that to her and didn't even realise I think we just sort of assume I think beauty guru you have ears pierced, you know, kinda of go together. And then I went into the story about how my cousin who got her ears pierced at like age one or two or something because she kept getting mistaken for a boy baby. And then I got a photo with her. Oh, I totally forgot to say that I also met Daily Grace, but you guys knew that. So um, I'm, we met there in three. So it was me, Katya and John. And I pretty much took over the conversation. Oh, we spent the whole day at Disney, uh, Disneyland trying to do the grace face. I just look scared though. Um, 
on one of the roller coasters that takes the photo and you come out and you go, ah, oh, that's hilarious. Um, and the only one we worked out that actually did that was Space Mountain. And we only got on that once and totally missed the camera. So on every other ride after that, we were just like this every time we came out. We tried to go on a second time so we could get it done, but the wait was like 55 minutes and we we're gonna miss the water fountains. So clearly water fountains is more important went to that. Um, so yeah, that's all the people I pretty much spoke to famous wise. I saw Mika Kitty and Nanalo, but every time I saw them, they were obviously like rushing off to be somewhere. So I never actually got to speak to them and like say hi. The other two that I met that I didn't get to speak to were Alex Carpenter and Jason Monday. But I didn't get a photo with Jason because it was just really hectic. Oh, and they, that was after they played a random show just out in the quadrangle thingy, whatever it was called, Courtyard. Um, and that was really good. It was those two and Jimmy Wong. So yeah, they're all really good, really different kind of music. Yeah, that's what it's like meeting um, YouTubers in person. <laughs> it's very weird. Um, and you have like conversations about them, like me and Carter and me, and me and Nikki and John would just have these conversations about, oh yeah, I like so-and-so's hair, and do you think she's dating so-and-so? Like we're best friends, but they don't even know us. It's the strangest thing. I have made my VidCon video of all the footage that I've ta taken. However, my computer decided to be a dick and not upload it. So I will keep trying and probably go to my personal channel, however. Anyway. I will sort it out and it will be up at some point and I will link you to it on Facebook and you can watch the magic. So I think that's it. Oh, I have a question for you all though. To promote, to promote, to promote discussion, um, if you could meet any YouTuber in person, who would it be and what would you say to them? Because I liked having something ready to go when I met them so I wouldn't just have it in my head and not just be like, ah, blah, blah, blah. So, yes, what would you say to them and who would it be? All right, girls, that's it. Take care and an adventure on.